This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button on this video. Well, we got Gilly the Kid again today, okay? And uh, if you remember yesterday, Bow Wow was like copying his whole thing with giving advice on Instagram. I mean, should we recap that real quick just for fun? Because he said something about Erica Mena in there from Love and Hip Hop. Gilly did, and she responded, and he responded to her, and it's good. So let's go. Let's go real quick. We'll give the bow wow thing just a little bit of that, and then I'll show you what he said about Erica Mena. Then we'll go to the response. So check it out, man. We're gonna do this shit called Keep It Play at Thursdays, where all the fellas be hitting me, asking me tips about ladies in different situations that they be going through, and it's my job to get you through. Them. So somebody hit me up on Twitter talking about. Hey, yo, Bow, man, if I have a girl come over late night, you feel me? So that's Bow Wow giving advice, and then, you know, that's what Gilly does. And Gilly responded to that, and that's where Eric Mena comes in. So watch this. Yeah. Bow Wow just said somebody hopped in his DM and asked him for some game. <laughs> <laughs> Imitation is the best form of flattery, eh? Right, OG? Oh, that's real shit. Right. But then he on there talking about, no, she, she called you up during booty time hours. Booty time hours. <laughs> he talking about she probably was scarfing dick down her throat. Scarfing dick down her throat. Wait, booty time hours and scarfing dick down her throat. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get your suburban ass, always had a couple dollars since I was ten. Ain't never been out here in the streets. Ain't qualified to get nobody, no game about nothing. Now all of a sudden somebody in somebody your DM. Your DM you couldn't even control the horror. He couldn't even control Erica Mena. Thank you. That fucking slorier. Uh, right. Why would they be asking you for game, nigga? Now, that was hilarious. He called her a slorier. So then Erica Mena responds and says, You're a straight bitch. Keep my name out your fucking mouth. You know, because it was true. Bow Wow had to drop her. They were going to get married and everything. But I heard rumors that she's just crazy. So anyways, uh... She responded with that. And of course, Gilly. Come on. Gilly is always going to respond. You know, he goes right into it. All right, somebody just somebody just texted me and said, Erica Mena said something about me. Ah, come on, man. I'm going to react to that. Somebody better go in that bitch DM and tell that bitch chill out before I put her in a spin cycle. You hear me? Bitch. You fucked eight niggas on love and hip hop and you talk about how you a whore. Oh, okay. I'm cool. Uh, you serious? Hmm? Bitch fuck six niggas in two seasons. Talk about how she a whore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no trouble, man. Rest in peace, I ain't them, man. So this is fucking hilarious, but uh, Gilly the Kid responds, and he's speaking the truth too, man. I mean, I, <laughs> Gilly the Kid's the best. You gotta go follow his Instagram, Gilly the King, Gilly underscore da underscore King. Funny as hell, man. Uh, always coming with the jokes, man. Uh, I'll check you guys on the next one. Make sure you hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll check you guys on the next video.